Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. If you like these types of videos, please consider supporting us by hitting the like button and clicking subscribe below. We post videos daily to help encourage you on your walk with Jesus. Now, on to today's thought. Today's thought. No sin is small. It is against an infinite God and may have consequences immeasurable. Jeremy Taylor Psalm 52 To the chief musician, Mashal, a psalm of David, when Doeg the Edomite came and told Saul and said unto him, David is come to the house of Amalekh. Why boastest thou thy mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of God endureth continually. Thy tongue devises mischiefs, like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness, Selah. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away, and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living, Selah. The righteous also shall see, and fear, and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in his abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive branch in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. Although many writers dwell on the prophecies of this chapter, there is also a lesson that can be learned from an event in David's life. This psalm was David's recollection when he was fleeing the jealous and angry King Saul. An Edomite set over the servants of Saul, Doeg, informed Saul that David had fled and was being helped by priests at Nob. Saul then ordered Doeg to kill over 85 priests, and the wicked man obeyed the commandment of Saul. This psalm reveals why David knew about the informer. He knew Doeg to be a braggart, a mighty warrior, a person that used his tongue to stir up trouble, a person that loved evil more than good and lying more than truth, a person whose speech was deceptive and had a plan to hurt and destroy others. As evil as Doeg was, David knew he would not get away with his sin. There is always a wage on sin that all will pay unless God's mercy spares them. David was expecting God to take the sinner's life. The revenge of Almighty God is a fearful thing. So fearful was God's wrath that David wanted hearers of his psalm to think about it and contemplate on it for their protection if they too were guilty of sin. God shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living. Psalm 52, 5. If there is one message I wish those that hear or read what I am teaching about God's word, is that there is a price tag on our sin, either here or in eternity. No one will escape the penalty of iniquity. We cannot undo what we have done, but we can speedily seek God's forgiveness and mercy before he deals with it in our lives. Loving Lord, I so desire to follow your command to love my enemies to pray for those that persecute me, to do good to those that hate me, to bless those that curse me, and to pray for those that mistreat me. And I ask that in your strength and grace, I would learn to live my life according to your will. I understand that the real enemy that I face is not the flesh and blood of men and women that I so often come against in life, 
but the battle I face is against a spiritual enemy and forces of evil that are in the heavenly realms, and that Satan and his evil forces are my true antagonists, who encompass me about on every side and seek to shepherd my faith. Thank you for the spiritual armor that is mine in Christ, and I praise you that in him I have all that I need to stand fast in the evil day, knowing that the weapons of our warfare are not that they are used by the world, but are divinely powerful spiritual weapons, which are designed to destroy the fortress of evil and to demolish the strongholds of Satan. Father, I pray that you would rescue those that are under the domination of Satan and bring them out of the satanic kingdom of darkness into the glorious kingdom of your dear Son. I ask that you would make known to them the wonderful riches that are in Christ. I pray that each one may come to saving faith in Christ Jesus, so that they may be at peace with God and have the peace of Christ reigning in their hearts. Give me wisdom and discernment to know when to act, what to say, how to pray, and when to remain silent. May all I do be according to your will, and I ask that in all things your Holy Spirit will lead and guide. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.